All right, today on the table, I have the Ruger Carbine, chambered in 44 Magnum. Unfortunately, they don't make these firearms anymore, which is a shame because this would literally be ideal to transition your kid from a Ruger 10-22 to the Ruger 44 Mag. Everything is exactly the same. You could transition them from this, start them off with this as a kid, and then once they're ready for deer season, transition them to the Carbine. Overall length, exactly the same. Stocks, exactly the same. Butt plates, controls, it's got the same slide safety. There are a couple of differences. First one being, it has a last round hold open. Second one being, it's not magazine fed, it's tube fed. It actually goes up in here. Now the tube has a very low capacity. It's only four rounds, which is fine because <coughs> most people are convinced that less capacity equals safety and they don't want to give their kids, you know, more than like three or four rounds. I've never understood that logic, but whatever. Uh, here's your bolt release. Right here, you just push on there, or it would also do that if you were to load it. You also need to push on there to be able to feed into your tube. Now, it's kind of high up there, so I could definitely see some issues with trying to get the rounds in there, especially if you're a kid with light fingers or small fingers. But the actual spring that pushes on the ammunition is quite light, so I don't think it would be that big of a problem. They both have the exact same iron sights with your flip down. Looks something like that. Barrel bands. Now this is a newer one, so everything on it's plastic. This is older, so it does have the metal uh, trigger guard. Uh, your butt plate on this one still is plastic though. But your barrel band's also metal. You're not looking at much of a weight difference either. I'm gonna have to double check, but I believe this is somewhere around four and a half pounds. This is six or five. I don't know, I'll roll it in. But yeah, it's only like a pound or two difference. You could totally train them on this firearm. And then when they go to this one, all they have to do is learn how to load it. The only thing that's gonna be different, it's gonna be slightly louder and it'll have a little bit more push. But since it's a pistol caliber, that's not that big of a deal. It's not like trying to shoot a 308 or something like that where it's like, boom, it's just gonna be like, pop, pop, pop. And where it being a pistol caliber, say they do make a bad shot for whatever reason, or they're loading it and actually send one into the air. It's not gonna travel miles upon miles like a rifle would. It's gonna stay relatively local. So that makes this rifle just a little bit safer, a little bit better for youth hunters. The overall length is kind of long for a kid. I believe it's like 13 and a half inches. My favorite length of pull is 12 and three quarters. So even for me, it's a little bit long. I'd like to have my trigger right here. But it is doable. It's not like a 15, 16 inch length of pull. And since like every modern hunting rifle out there, unless you put them on an AR-15, which is what I strongly recommend, since every modern hunting rifle out there has too long of a length of pull for like everyone, they're gonna have to adjust to that anyway. The safety, very positive click, trigger brake. Very nice trigger brake, very little creep. Brakes very good, pretty light. Here's your reset. Now these are pricey because they don't make them anymore, but honestly, if you get a chance to get on one of these, I would totally recommend it. I'm not saying the reliability is gonna be the same as the Ruger 1022, which is extremely reliable. But it should be okay, and all the materials look very quality on here. I'm going to look it up because the Ruger 1022 has a hammer forge barrel. And this one looks like it does too. You can almost see where the hammer moves down it. But I'll annotate that in. Wood, very, very quality. Definitely recommend it. Does have sling swivels. But anyway, thanks for watching. Leave in the comments below if you've ever owned one of these, what the reliability is like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to drop a dollar in the hat, please visit my Patreon. It'll be going towards helping me get a new laptop so I can put out content faster and more efficiently. Thank you for the patrons I already have. I really do appreciate the support.